I'm John Lindquist from the Midway USA Foundation. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Pittman-Robertson Act. In the early 1900s, many wildlife species were disappearing or declining across our nation. Sportsmen and women, along with the firearms and ammunition industry, asked Congress to create an excise tax on the sale of firearms and ammunition to help fund wildlife conservation. In 1937, the newly created Pittman-Robertson Act was passed. The tax included 11% on long guns and ammunition and 10% for handguns. The excise tax is paid up front by the manufacturers, whether the products are for hunting, shooting sports, or personal defense. Tax revenues generated from the Pittman-Robertson are then appropriated to wildlife agencies for things like conservation efforts, hunter education programs, and shooting ranges. Since its inception, over $12 billion has been collected from the manufacturers and distributed to states across our fine country. Currently, 80% of the Pittman-Robertson tax contributions are generated by sales related to target shooting. Today, there are more than 4.5 million youth shooters in the U.S. between the ages of 6 and 18 years old. Collectively, they spend nearly $1.8 billion a year on firearms, ammo, and accessories. Pittman-Robertson is America's largest funding source for wildlife conservation and public access to our natural resources. Pittman-Robertson taxes are a great example how hunters and shooters are reinvesting in the outdoor recreation opportunities for all Americans.